with you this evening. Now, New Hampshire, we gonna do this. Is that right? We gonna do this. Is that right? Now, what we understand is that all that we love is on the line. Nothing too big. That's all. Just all that we love. And we are going to show this nation, and dare I say the world, that in the words of Dr. Cornell West, we will put the long distance runner for justice in the White House. Hello, somebody. So, I just stopped by to tell you that the workaday people of this nation deserve better than what we have been getting. Hello, somebody. And it truly boggles my mind that we have people on TV questioning and taking up for the billionaire class and not really giving a care about the working class people of this nation. So if I might, if I may, talk a little bit about FDR, who in the 1930s faced similar backlash by the establishment of his day, and he said, I welcome their hatred. That is the same thing that we're doing in the 21st century. We welcome their hatred. Hello, somebody. If I might and if I may, in 1944, FDR proposed the Economic Bill of Rights. Right to a job, right to a living wage, right to affordable housing, right to quality education, right to a secure retirement, right to decent housing. Hello, who does that sound like? In 1963, the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., the same thing, standing up for the workaday people of this nation, he challenged this nation and said that militarism, materialism, poverty, and racism is wrong and we must unite against it. Hello, somebody. Same thing. And it was the elites of his day as well. We like to wax poetic about the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. and all of his contemporaries, but how many folks are gonna do more than quote him? How many people can we depend on to walk in his footsteps? Hello, somebody. When Senator Bernie Sanders challenged, it ain't just something, you know, we got people talking about practicality. What's practical? Well, if you're wealthy enough, you can sit back and wax poetic about practical, but if you are poor, baby, practical ain't working for you. It ain't working. And then you got somebody else that's talking about, oh, the senator is dividing folks. Let me tell you something, the division has already been set and it is a corrupt system in this country that hurts the working people. So we need a champion. So we need these elected officials to decide and especially the folks that's running for president, the question becomes, whose side are you on? Are you on the side of the working day people of this nation? Either you are on their side or you are not. Either you're going to take a position and know that Medicare for all is a human right in this country or you do not. Either you believe that women deserve their whole damn dollar or you do not. Either you are willing to stare down a legal system that sees black men, hello somebody, and black women as somehow more criminal than anybody else and other people of color and then poor people. We need a champion who says that they are going to go to war with white supremacy. Hello somebody. Now New Hampshire, we tired. We tired of the BS and I ain't talking about Bernie Sanders. Hello, somebody. We need a champion. Somebody who raises their money with the people. Somebody who doesn't kowtow and defend the billionaire class. Somebody who understands that as well as we bail out Wall Street, it's time to put a down payment on
know Main Street. Hello, somebody. And then, the type of person that we need to run against Mr. Trump is not half measure, middle of the way people, but we need somebody that's gonna go ham on this system. Hello, somebody. We going. We going. And Senator Bernie Sanders is that champion. Hello, somebody. We not gonna play games with it. So if it's impractical, when people are dying because they can't afford their prescription drugs. Is it practical to continue to give the worst president in modern history more money in a military budget? Is it practical to sit back and understand that every night 500,000 of our sisters and brothers sleep on the streets? Is it practical to continue to make excuses. New Hampshire, we are the wealthiest country on the face of the earth, and we can afford to have Medicare for all, college for all, cancel student debt. Hello, somebody. So the people who got the luxury, and I want you to understand this, New Hampshire, don't get discouraged. We're going to keep our eyes on the prize. And so we need the folks that are here tonight. It is good for the family to come together. But in the words of my grandmother, I can show you better than I can tell you. And New Hampshire, we're going to show them some stuff. If you were out in an ocean drowning... Who do you want to come save you? Somebody who's practical or somebody who's radical? Hello, somebody. So they can talk all of that stuff all they want to because they have the luxury. But we, the everyday people of this nation, need somebody that has courage and conviction and will stand up to a system that is rotten to the core. We need somebody who can go head to head with President Donald Trump and that person is Senator Bernie Sanders. We not gonna play games with this. You deserve better. And I want for you, New Hampshire, what I want for my own family, I want for your family. I want for your community, what I want for my community. I want for your state, what I want for the great state of Ohio. And we as a nation should want for our sisters and brothers in other lands what we want for ourselves. And what we want is to live a good life. Hello, somebody. ask us whether or not it was practical when they was bailing out Wall Street but every time we talk about putting a little down payment on Main Street, people got a problem. They want to ask how much it costs. Well, how, do, how much does it cost to continue to blow the military budget? How much does it cost to give a $1.6 trillion tax cut to the wealthiest people of this country? How much did it cost? We not playing games. So we need you, New Hampshire, to come through. And I believe with all of my heart that you are going to come through. There's a scripture that says that you will know the tree by the fruit that it bears. And Senator Bernie Sanders has been bearing good fruit all of his life. That does not make him, that does not make that has been on the front line starting at the University of Chicago. Hello, somebody. As a mayor of Burlington, hello, somebody. As a congressman, hello, somebody. As a state, as a U.S. senator, hello, somebody. And as the next president of the United States of America, hello, hello. New Hampshire, we gonna do this. Sister Helen Keller said these words, and I wanna leave you with these words and then my famous with these hands. Y'all know we got to do it. But she said this, and I want you to marinate with this. I want you to hear what Sister Turner is saying to you tonight. She said, alone, we can do very little. 
together, we can do so much. This is a multi-generational, multi-gendered, multi-ethnic, multi-racial movement of conscious-minded people. That's who we are. That's what we are. And we are not going to let anybody divide us. We coming together to transform this nation. Hello, somebody. So can you do something for me? Would you please raise one hand for yourself? The great Dr. Maya Angelou once said, have the courage to stand up for yourself and then the courage to stand up for somebody else. Raise another hand for somebody else. And with these hands, we will have Medicare for all. With these hands, we will have college for all. With these hands, we will cancel medical debt. With these hands, we will cancel student debt. With these hands, 